Welcome to the Martinsville Speedway for the 8th race in the NASCAR Irwin Tools Cup Series 2005 season as we have 38 drivers once again lined up on the starting grid as they are going to race around this .5 mile paperclip for 15 laps as this place has been on the NASCAR schedule basically since day one. And it's such a historic venue. And today, the drivers will provide all the challenges and a lot of obstacles in this one as you have the narrow turns and the longer straightaways, a little bit longer than Bristol, but like I said, those narrow turns. You're gonna see some bumping and banging and you're gonna see a lot of beat up race cars and some rough short track racing at the end of this. And the drivers are ready to go. But today, we are going to look at some Big storylines before this race. Jimmy Johnson is the new points leader. He had a big weekend at Lowe's Motor Speedway and won. And then you have Tony Stewart. He got taken out by Dale Jr. and he might not be very happy about that and he might make that clear today. Jeff Gordon, he's been consistent all year long and he's starting to close in in terms of the picture. And then we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. who has been doing really solid. He's solid in the hunt. And Matt Kenseth, tough race at the Lowe's Motor Speedway, looking to rebound with a solid day. Big race for the 17 team. And now it is time for your Pepsi starting lap. And just a reminder, Pepsi, the official soft drink of the NASCAR Irwin Tools Cup Series. Rusty Wallace in his last start at Martinsville. And Bobby Labonte, another solid run for the Interstate Batteries car. Greg Biffle trying not to fade out of the championship picture. And Jeff Gordon looking out another solid day. Elliot Seidler in the M&M's car. And Mark Mark trying to build on that second place finish at Lowe's. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the good old Budweiser car. And Jimmy Johnson, big weekend for Lowe's, hoping to back it up again. Casey Kane and Jeremy Mayfield, another great run for Everham. Matt Kenseth, like I said, big weekend for the 17 team. Ryan Newman, he struggled a little bit looking to rebound here at the paperclip. Jeff Burton in the singular car looking to call up a good finish. Tony Stewart going for some vengeance with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Jarrett in the UPS truck and Kenny Wallace in the good old Domino's car. Kurt Busch looking to write a good finish and Terry Labonte in the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes car. And then we have Bill Elliott and then Jeff Green in the Cheerios car back there. And then we have Scott Riggs as he's had an okay season. And then we have Ricky Rudd. And then after that, we have Sterling Marlin and Kevin Harvick as they're looking to have another great run starting mid-pack. Joe Nemechek trying to recruit a good finish again. And Ken Schrader, Michael Walcher still doing average. And Kyle Petty, he had an okay result last weekend. Two young guys in their first starts at the paperclip, Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch. And then we have Dave Blaney and then Casey Mears or Crashy Mears in the Millennial Mark. Dodge. And then we have Bobby Hamilton Jr. and another young rookie alongside Martin Truex Jr. Randy LeJoy didn't make a lot of friends last week as he crashed about five cars and Mike Skinner. And rounding it out is rookie Brian Vickers and Chad Little. And now it is time for your KFC Chicken Capital USA honorary starter. Today's honorary starter is NASCAR Diecast, The Hunt. And now it's time to send these drivers on a 15 lap journey here in Martinsville, Virginia. Rusty Wallace leads them down the front trips and we are racing here in Martinsville, Virginia. Greg Biffle three wide and he made it stick and Rusty Wallace is gonna give him the bumper and way up into the group, a bold move by Greg Biffle. Lap two out of 15, Dale Jr. trying to look at this three wide. Junior nudges Elliott Sather. Gordon gets shoved out of the groove. And we have some interesting racing. And Junior, Rusty Wallace up the track and into the wall. Holy cow, Dale Jr. the lead, the fans are cheering. Casey Kane though, he's gonna give it back to Dale Jr. And he falls back. Still, 
double wide back here. What an interesting start to this race as Casey Kane becomes the third lap leader already. Lap four out of 15 and Bobby Labonte makes the move. Are you kidding me? Biffle falls even further. He gets pushed way out of the group. He's already back to 15. And you can see the drivers are still following by. Lap five out of 15, Mark Martin makes a move on Casey Kane. And Jeremy Mayfield, a bold move. Are you kidding me? This is Martinsville at its finest. Look at Calamity Corner. More contact, bumping and banging. Lap six out of 15. They're finally starting to fan out. But Jimmy Johnson trying to close in on Bobby Labonte. Here he comes down the back stretch as the 48 looking as they're starting to fan out. But Jimmy Johnson gets a run and now he takes the lead. Lap seven out of 15, three wide. Back in the pack, more chaos and trouble here on the front stretch and Kyle Busch goes plowing in. Interesting crash as Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth, Jeff Green, Ricky Rudd and Kyle Busch at the last minute goes plowing in. What on earth happened? I just saw a bunch of cars stuck in turn one. That was a very interesting crash. Let's watch the replay. So you can see, I don't know, Matt Kenseth was kind of out of the groove. And Kyle Busch, okay, there's the first kind of, oh, chain reaction crash back there. And that really triggered the whole wreck. And Kyle Busch, his day is done. Plowed, absolutely plowed into the back of Ricky Rudd. My gosh, he took a hard hit. His day is done. And Matt Kenseth on pit road. And yeah, he is a championship contender, but he could fade out of the picture if he doesn't improve his spot. Ricky Rudd took a hard hit to the back of the car. He should be okay. Ryan Newman as well. He's got some damage, but he's looking good to continue. And Jeff Green on pit road making some repairs. So that is very interesting. And now it's time to restart again. Lap 9 out of 15. Jimmy Johnson in command. But we have Bobby Labonte, Mark Martin, Jeremy Mayfield, and Jeff Gordon trying to catch up. Green flag is back in the air as Jimmy Johnson gets a great run. And there's also going to be a battle for the lap cars. Ryan Newman makes a daring move on Matt Kenseth. And they're going through a Whoa, look at that. And Jeff Green nudges Kenseth, but somehow they keep going. And Tony Stewart nudges Jr. Oh, no, trouble. And we have big contact here on the front stretch. Matt Kenseth, Tony Stewart, and Kurt Busch championship contenders involved. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? We have Calamity Corner and Scott Riggs got turned as well in a chain reaction crash at the paperclip. Jeff Green went in way too much, puts Kenneth up to check. And look at this, Tony Stewart repays the favor to Dale Earnhardt Jr. like we were talking about in the pre-race. And wow, Tony Stewart though, Kenseth comes back down the track due to contact as Labonte just got into him, and look at this, and Scott Riggs got clipped and a ton of drivers clipped it. So Tony Stewart, he repaid the favor to Dale Earnhardt Jr., not in the way he wanted, but he ends up getting the worst of it. Kurt Busch, this is probably going to eliminate him from championship contention. Two DNFs has put him out of the title run. Terry Labonte, tough luck for that 44 team. Couple races left in his career. Matt Kenseth, another rough outing for him, and this is gonna set him back in the points as well. We have five cars now in the garage area and some tough title contenders. Bobby Labonte is on pit road making some repairs as he got a little bit of damage as well as Jeff Burton. And this is going to definitely eliminate him from championship contention most likely. Scott Riggs, he really wasn't in it, so that won't affect him. He just got clipped and tough luck for him. And then we have Kenny Wallace and the Domino's Pizza car looking to get Quick service, and the Aaron's Lucky Dog goes to Ryan Newman. He made that daring move on Matt Kenseth and got ahead of that wreck, and he is back on the lead lap. And now it's time to restart again. Lap 12 out of 15. Jimmy Johnson, huge opportunity for him as Tony Stewart is out of the race. Can he win and build his points lead? But meanwhile, Mark Martin, Jeremy Mayfield, and Jeff Gordon have other plans in this race, and they would certainly like to win at the paperclip. Green flight back in the air. Jimmy Johnson takes the lead, but Mark Martin lurks in second. Great reach start for him as they head down the back stretch. Mark Martin's going to try to look, and he cleanly bumps Jimmy Johnson up the racetrack. Mark Martin to the lead. Lap 13 out of 15. Jeremy Mayfield looks in. Oh, no! He turns him. Mark Martin hard into the wall. Caution is out. Once again, Mark Martin gets dumped by Jeremy Mayfield and into the wall. Oh, boy. 
Classic Martinsville racing right there. So you see, gets bumped out earlier and Mayfield, a dirty, dirty move. I mean, it's a part of short track racing to have these incidents, but that was a little bit too much. Mark Martin on pit road with the pairs, but he is not very happy with Jeremy Mayfield. And now the Aaron's lucky dog goes to Ricky Rudd and good for him. So now we're gonna restart lap 15 out of 16 as Jeremy Mayfield has the lead. Who wins it? Green flag back in the air. Mayfield gets a good restart. Can he win and prove he's not washed up? Mayfield clears him down the back stretch, but Jimmy Johnson still has it in sight. Jeff Gordon in third as they head down. White flag in the air as Jeremy Mayfield takes it, but Mark Martin's lurking and oh my goodness, he takes him out. Mark Martin wrecks Jeremy Mayfield and the fans are on their feet. Coming out of turn four, it's gonna go back to back for Jimmy Johnson. He wins at Martinsville, and the 48 proves he is the biggest threat for this championship. Oh my goodness, Mark Martin takes out Jeremy Mayfield, and the fans are absolutely cheering here at Martinsville as he repays him the favor. And we're going to watch this Mayfield great restart for him. But that was not going to be good as Mark Martin lurks around, waits for him, and absolutely dumps him. Mayfield likely had this race won until that move right there. Pow. And that gave the lead to the 48 team. And once again, for Hendrick Motorsports and Lowe's and, in, and Chevrolet and the entire team, Jimmy Johnson is going to burn it down here in Martinsville. The 48 goes back to back at Lowe's and Martinsville. So congrats to the number 48 once again. DSM Chris for winning here at Martinsville. And now it's time to look at your results from Martinsville. Jimmy Johnson in first, Jeff Gordon in second, 1-2 for Hendrick Motorsports. Casey Kane gets third. Dale Jarrett, a solid day in fourth. Dale Jr. did what he needed to do in fifth. And look at this, Kyle Petty in seventh. Bill Elliott in ninth, their first top tens this season. Kevin Harvick remains in the championship picture. Back here, solid day for Michael Waltrip in 11th. A rough outing for Rusty Wallace in 12th. Remember, he got in an early wreck, but he rebounded pretty well, so good for him. And we have a couple rookies as well. And back here, we have Jeremy Mayfield, the man of the hour. Not a fan favorite in Martinsville, Virginia. He finishes 27th after getting taken out by Mark Martin. And on this last page, a lot of championship contenders. Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch, and Matt Kendrick are going to take big hits in the point standings. As here they are with two races to go. Jimmy Johnson takes an 80-point lead over teammate Jeff Gordon. Dale Jr. and Tony Stewart are the only drivers that are within a race. Harvick in fifth, and you can see we have Rusty Wallace, Dale Jarrett, Elliot Sadler, Sterling Moen, and Greg Biffle cracks the top 10. And now this page is really interesting, and remember how Kurt Busch was so close last week in the standings? Well, now he is officially mathematically eliminated from the championship after two rough days, as well as Bobby Labonte, Ricky Rudd, some others. It's gonna take a miracle for Jeff Burton, Matt Kenseth, or Casey Kane to win the title. So race number nine in this 2005 season is going to head to the Phoenix International Raceway for the Chicker Auto Parts 500. And man, it's gonna to be tough to top this one as this featured some chaotic racing and some unusual events. And it's going to build up the excitement. So once again, congrats to Jimmy Johnson, Hendrick Motorsports, Lowe's and Chevrolet for winning here at Martinsville. As Jimmy Johnson, the 48 team, are gonna to be tough to beat down the stretch, but we'll see what happens.